St. Francis of Assisi presents The Beautiful Night. Ha! Take that! And that! Do your worst, villain! I'm a brave and valiant warrior! Come on, Francis! Let's play, too! You and can you? be a soldier from Perugia! <sighs> I'll be one of the king's knights! <sighs> You're still gonna lose! No, I'll win this time because I wield the fiery sword of Archangel Gabriel! Well, after I'm through with you, <sighs> you'll be a dead Archangel! <sighs> now submit! You win! You mustn't give up so easily, for I am a great healer and I'm sure I can resurrect you! Hey, that's not fair! He's already dead! There's nothing you can do now! Francis won fair and square! Huh? Hey, look, it's Pegasus, the great winged steed of ancient legend! Huh? The steed is mine! I saw it first! Steed, Francis! What did I miss? Now be calm, great steed, I am your knight! Such a beautiful horse! <laughs> Wait, you can't just change the rules like that! Huh? Uh Sir Francis to the rescue! Okay. But remember, Giuseppe is just an old no! Ah, no, he's a winged steed and we're flying! Woo! There's your armor, young sir, just as you requested. It's not as shiny as the others. But you're the one who asked me to make the armor as dark as a raven, sir. This armor is just extraordinary. It's as if it's made from the very blackness of night. Well, I changed my mind. I want my huh? armor to shine like the sun. Mm. Can't you make it look uh, like pure silver and shiny as a mirror? Uh, of course I could do that, my lord, all things being equal. But if you want my opinion, I think it would be... I don't pay you to think, blacksmith. Do your job. I'll be happy to do as you ask, my lord, but armor like you desire will cost twice as much as you've paid me, and that's just for the materials I'll need. My father will pay your price. And you should have seen their armor. They look like a bunch of Teutons from the Rhineland. Okay, you're next. What's your name? I am known here as Philip the Tall. I want to join the war. I've brought my own sword. Well, Philip the Tall, consider yourself a soldier of Assisi. Give him his provisions. Thank you, sir. Next in line. What's your name? You enlisted, Philip? Let's see what they've paid you. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> we needed this so badly. When do you leave? They didn't tell me, but I'm sure it'll be very soon. After the tournament. You'll win for sure! Friends. 
Francis. You are the finest knight. Francis, son of Peter of Bernardone, I declare you to be the winner of this tournament. For Perugia! I wonder what's on these wagons. I hope they bought us some weapons. The weapons have arrived! Easy, there's a weapon for everyone. I want that axe! Give me that sword! Attack! Attack! We will destroy them! Our men's excitement for war will surely grant us a great victory against the Perugians, Francis. This battle won't even last that long. The Perugians have a sizable army, and they are better organized than we are. These peasants have heart, but no experience. You're forgetting, Francis, that our armored cavalry is second to none. There is no force anywhere that can stand against it. Yeah! yeah! What will happen on the open field of battle when they meet the enemy face to face? And so I say to all assembled, because the situation calls for action, we must now wage war against Perugia. With the knowledge that God is on our side. The mayor is war right! Perugia. They must be war! defeated! War! war! So now we learn the men wish to go to war, is that right? Fine, and who will be left to tend our farms and work the mills? Are we supposed to do that now? I can't believe my husband wants to go to war. I won't let him go. Who's going to herd the goats? All this trouble just to go to war. How are we supposed to pay off our debts? Have any of you ladies ever met a man contend with peace? Men are nothing without their sword. Perugia has been bleeding us for decades. It has placed unfair taxes on all of our goods that pass through its territory. It has used our hard-earned gold to buy the loyalty of the German mercenaries that defend its gates. Hmm. They have gathered swords, breastplates, tunics, and armored horses for war. And why is that? Because Perugia has long prepared for war against Assisi. They want to empty our coffers. They want to burn our flags. They want to humiliate us. And how should we answer these Perugians? The only way we proud Assisians can ever respond to such hostility. We go to war! Yes! Yes! When we finally defeat Perugia, we will all take the wine from their cellars and we'll drink to our health with beautiful Perugian women at our sides. <laughs> A toast to Assisi! Assisi. To, to the, the glory, glory of Assisi. Assisi! Maybe after we win, we can finally have some decent wine. And another toast to our brave cavalry. Yes, to, to the, the brave CCC cavalry.
them cornered. Let's press the attack. Captain, we've managed to gather the noblemen of Assisi for you. As if Assisi had noblemen. <laughs> it looks to me as if these are mere boys simply playing at being knights. We would have won if you hadn't tricked us. All is fair in love and war, boy. I still don't think it's fair, sir. Hmm. A defenseless man is just another example of your cowardice. If I were you, I'd learn to have better manners when you have a spear pointed at your back. Do any of you gentlemen happen to know the punishment I deliver to those who dare disturb the peace of Captain Perugia? <laughs> For example, though I wanted to sleep in, I had to wake up and kill you. You may do as you wish, but spare us the whining. A Cician nobility doesn't fear death. Mm. <laughs> Listen to this brave boy. Suddenly these fools wish to become heroes. Uh! But the real question is, what's the best way to sacrifice these spoiled children of wealthy families? You, for example. Did you think I would fail to recognize you because of your armor? You are the son of the mayor of Assisi. I could receive a handsome reward for returning you home safely. Hmm. And you, you're the son of Assisi's wealthiest banker. And you're the son of Andrew Mastro, the court physician. And yours is a face that is well known in Perugia. You are the son of Peter Berardone, the richest merchant in Assisi. I remember when I was in Flanders, I bought a bolt of cloth from your father, for which he overcharged me, of course, but it was worth it. <laughs> My wife made a beautiful gown from it. Relax, I won't kill any of you. Rich families pay their weight in gold for the lives of their brave and incredibly foolish young men. It would be very rude of me to reject their offers. Assisi will pay handsomely for their stupidity. Yeah, yeah, hold your horses. <laughs> Fly away, my friends. Fly! Don't keep us waiting. Which one of us gets to leave this rat hole? I have orders for the release of Francis Giovanni Bernardoni of Assisi. Sure, he's the richest guy in here. His father must have paid a fortune to get him out of this place. People like me will stay here until we rot. There's no justice in this world. Okay, let's move it. 
The bail price for Francis Giovanni Bernardoni of Assisi has been set by this court at ten gold sovereigns payable immediately. One, two, three, four, five. Having to buy one's own son is a terrible insult, Mayor. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. There's your filthy ransom. Now bring me my boy Francis and be quick about it and let me get out of here. Going back home, are you? Don't waste your breath. This guy doesn't talk. You're going to be free. You might as well humor me with conversation. The first one is done. Let's get that second shackle. There. Now you could probably run all the way to Assisi. You can take your son, but his weapons will remain here. Ten gold sovereigns is too much for the boy, and you know it. You're in no position to argue. If you want the weapons to be returned, you'll have to pay two more pieces of gold. One for his armor, and one for his sword. Here's your dirty lucre. Two more pieces of gold. And now, if you please, Mayor, when do I see my son? to it again, boy. Oh, my son, at last. Are you all right, son? Don't forget your garbage. Come on, Francis. Let's go home. Please, Father, I walked into this city on my own, and as a free man, I shall leave it exactly the same way. Let's fly! <laughs> hmm. You seem better, my son. And once you have some of your mother's cooking, you'll be back to yourself. Thank you for paying my ransom, father. But I want you to realize, I still intend on remaining a knight of Assisi. Hmm? We're home. You have no idea how many times I dreamt of this day. Francis, Mother. my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Francis! My friend! Oh. Ah. Welcome back, Francis. <laughs> Hello, Francis. Oh. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Huh? Is that my armor? It's a bit banged up, but with a drop of oil and some elbow grease, it'll be as good as new. Ready for battle again. Ha <laughs> ha! As it should be. Only this time I will be victorious, as befits a valiant and brave knight of Assisi. What's going on? Listen to my words, good people. I bring news. Oh? Greetings, Sir Francis. I'm so happy to see you have recovered quite well. Listen well, because what I'm about to say will interest the heart of every loyal knight. Your brave services are required. Walter of Brienne in Puglia has need of the best and most loyal knights to defeat an evil and dangerous enemy. Now it is time for me to return to combat. Good. <laughs> 